Jessica? Oh my god, there's so much blood! Keep pressure on the wound. It, it was an accident. Get out of here! I'm the doctor. Uh, let me look at her. I mean, I didn't mean you to. You brought a gun and started firing! We have to help Jessica! Now, do, do we have a, a dressing? Yes. You planned this. Oh, Mitch, really? Surely you have some medical supplies? Nothing will save you now. We have to save Jessica! In the, uh, in the other room, they were gonna deliver a baby here. There's gotta be something in there we can use. Just keep pressure on the wound. Charlie? Charlie! Please, can you go get uh, some towels and see if there's any antiseptic? We have to save Jessica and stop this bleeding. If my daughter dies, it's on your head, Dory. Right. Don't go all wobbly on me now, all right? Vicky's right. Everybody's going to be found. Now that they know the location, they can focus the search. Where is this base? Uh, it's off Highway 217, about halfway up the mountain. I actually have a cabin very near there. Oh, and people are searching. Yeah. Yeah, they are. And now that the snow has stopped, they can get a helicopter in the air. Everybody is going to be found, including Stacy. What if they're too late? <laughs> Breathe in through your nose. <laughs> Don't push. Are you pushing? <laughs> Don't push, Stacy. Not yet. Just breathe. Okay. Okay. Wow, these contractions are coming really fast. Oh, too fast. I was in labor with Shane for 12 hours, so you're lucky this will be over soon. I'm gonna die. No, you won't. I should. No, no one's gonna die. You have to make breakfast for the next 18 years. I'm gonna be a lousy mother. Everybody thinks that. No, Gigi, I'm suck and you know it. I don't know anything about kids. Neither did I. You learn on the job. She's gonna hate me. No, she won't. She'll be the one person who totally loves you. And when you hold her in your arms and you see the little person that you and Rex made, the whole world falls into place. Did you did you find Stacy? No. Well, didn't Mitch? Yeah, but she was gone by the time Brody got to the site. Well, gone where? <laughs> okay, good. Now deep breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Slow, slow breath. Got it? Okay. Why are you being so nice to me? You're in labor. That's punishment enough. You want to go find Skylar, don't you? Yeah. I wouldn't blame you if you left. I wouldn't do that to an innocent baby. Something happened between Mitch and Stacy, and he threw her out. Stacy got thrown out of her own kidnapping? Yeah. Oh, that was a shock. Well, was he trying to kill her? No, I, well, I, I don't know. It, it was like punishment. For what? Lying to him? Mitch figured out it wasn't his grandchild. What? Stacy. She's not having my baby. It's Skylar's. You would help me no matter who the father was? It's still a baby. Uh, oh, God! Uh, oh, God! Don't! Don't! We have tried! Not hard enough. How can you say that? No, you said it, didn't you? You said it yourself when you got back from Tahiti. You said that moment we kissed, Todd, I thought that everything was going to be okay. I know what I said. It was more than just talk, I think. <sighs> Todd? And you know what happened afterwards? Yeah, I... And after that, you thought everything was going to be okay. I know what happened afterwards. Don't do this. You're doing it! You! And you know how you feel about me, and you know that I feel the same way. I don't know how you could stand there and deny it. How do you deny our love? When is it? You got a headache? No, I, don't, I don't know. I... It's like I was passed out. But I wasn't, and... and... It's like this dream, but it was so real. Jared was here with me, talking to me. I, I could feel him lying right next to me, you know, like he never left. I must be losing it, huh? Maybe you had a fever and you got hit pretty hard. 
and it was just, it was so real. You were hallucinating. I could feel him. I could reach out and just touch. You? Everything I said, I said it to you. Stacy's way pregnant, and she wasn't even dressed for the snow. We had just been at the hospitals. The hospital? Why? We thought she was going into labor. Really? It was a false alarm, though. But still, she's way far along. That girl does not have a good sense of direction. On her best day. Even if she did, she wouldn't know where to go. Well, the FBI knows, and they're going to be sending in rescue teams. What else? Well... We do an awful lot of praying that everybody gets back safely. I can't leave this up to God. What if he's not a fan? I can't just stay here. Whoa, 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 hold on. Where are you going? On. Do you know how many times I've called the cops in my life and just waited? That's not going to happen here. Well, you guys may have better luck with law enforcement, but they don't show up for people like Stacy and me. Honey, rescue crews are not going to discriminate, especially against a pregnant girl. I'm not taking any chances. Kim, what do you want to do? I want to go up that mountain and bring Stacy home no, myself. No, no, no. Now that's a plan. Is anyone with me? Tell me what happened. Like I said, you were pretty out of it. And you thought I was Jared. Oh my God. What I said. It's no big deal. No, I. I couldn't stop going on and on about how much I love you and how we were always going to be together. It was just that kind of day. You weren't thinking straight. You should have stopped me. Yeah, I thought with everything you've been through, maybe that would make it worse. You told me you loved me. When I said I love you to Jared, he said it back. That was you. Yeah. And then I kissed you. Here, that, that's all I saw. Good, it's a start. It's a start. Jessica, can you hear me? Can you hear? Brody, keep talking to her. Keep up the pressure. We got to keep her conscious. Baby, can you hear me? You stay with me. Brody, roll her over on her side so that I can look for an exit wound. Oh, God, I'm sorry, baby. Just hang on. Hang on. Oh. No, 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 it does not look good. It doesn't look good. Okay, we've got to elevate her legs. Uh, if we got some blankets or something. In the other room. Dorian, save her. We've got to get her off this mountain. Where she is a monolith. Was that the fight? About the baby? Yeah. He knew. For months! Rex, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, hey don't, hey, don't be. This is the best news I've gotten since Shay went into remission. Stacy is not my problem anymore. Oh, you jackass! She's a pregnant woman who got thrown out into a storm! Hey, hey, hey. Who you call a jackass, huh? Hey, hey. Did you find any trail, any any sign of Stacy? No, no. There were Tony tracks going in and out of the site. There's no way to tell which ones were hers. Well, we have to find her. Right. Oh, it could be worse. Well, at least we know she's not in labor. <sighs> Okay, that looks good. How do you know? I I don't know, but it looks like the baby's coming. I'm gonna die. No, you're not. Keep going. You're almost there. No, I'm done. No, 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 you're not. This little girl wants to meet her mom. She doesn't want me. I'm a horrible person. I hurt so many people. So now you want to hurt the little baby? No. Okay, Stacy. <sighs> when you see your baby, it's the best feeling. It'll all be worth it. I promise. Now try. I am. One more push, one big push. Think about everything you've ever wanted and you'll have it right now. One more push. Think about your family with Rex. Think about everyone who ever got in your way. Come on, you want to win? Think about everything you do to win. Open your eyes. Say hi to your little girl. 